I am Anil Kumar. Let us now understand how to find area of regular polygons. I have two related questions. Question number one is find area of a regular hexagon with apothem of 10 centimeters. And question number two is find area of a regular nonagon with radius of 10 centimeters. Hexagon is six sided polygon, nonagon is nine sided polygon. Now, let us also define these terms, apothec and radius. So, I'll sketch, uh, let's sketch a regular hexagon. Let us assume that all these sides and angles are equal. And, uh, well, let's see. So let's say this is the regular hexagon. Now, any regular polygon can be inscribed inside a circle. That is how we get most of our definitions, right? So, so we could make a circle here, touching all these vertices. Okay, so that becomes the circle. Now here, if you join a point with the vertex, center this is the center of our polygon if you join this with the vertex that is called radius so let me write down radius here radius is the point joining the center let's say center is o to the vertex let's call it a now what is apothem that is the distance from shortest distance from the center to the polygon right so so if i draw a perpendicular to any of these sides from the center then that becomes the height of a triangle formed and it is called apothem so this is called apothem To find the area of any polygon, regular polygon I mean, it is important to find the height of apothem so that we can find area of one of the triangles which is height times base, base becomes side length and then multiplying it by number of triangles gives the area of polygon. So I hope the strategy is clear to you. So basically for area if we have n gun polygon let's say that means n sided that also means there will be n triangles we're talking about regular polygon right so all n triangles will have same area so let's say let's say we have opq as one of our triangles and if a is the apothem length in that case area of one triangle which is triangle opq is going to be half times a times let's say s is the side length so that becomes one triangle area so area of polygon will be what let's say n gun polygon with n sides will be half times a times n times s now if there are n sides in that case we could also write this as half times a times p where p is perimeter will be n times each side length so that is also a way to find area of the complete polygon with n size, correct? So, so that is how we could find. Now these two questions, one we are given the apothem of 10 centimeter and the second one area of regular polygon with radius of 10 centimeters. Now if we are only given the apothem, then how do we find the side length? So we might have to use trigonometric ratios.
to find missing parameters. So once we do that, we can find the area. Now let us take up these two examples to really understand how to find area of regular polygon. Here is the first question. Let us find area of regular hexagon with apothem of 10 centimeters. So let's sketch one. Let's say this is our regular hexagon, all six equal side lengths. And let this be the center. From the center, we can make one triangle. Area is six times the area of this particular triangle. We are given the apothem of 10 centimeters. That is the shortest distance from the center to any of the sides. So the idea is to find side length from the altitude given for one triangle, right? So let us say S is the side length. In that case, uh, we can find using this right triangle half of S. Half of S. Now each angle in hexagon is how much? At the center of a triangle, it would be 360 degrees divided by 6. That is 60 degrees, right? So here we have 60 degrees. Now as this is the radius, both are equal sides. The other two angles should be exactly same. And since the sum of angles of a triangle is 180, all these angles are 60 degrees, correct? So we have the angle of 60 degrees at the base of this triangle. Now, let me label this. Let's say uh, O is the center. We will now try to find half of the side length. So we are trying to find this length using that triangle, correct? Now we know tan of 60 degrees will be opposite side, which is 10 divided by half of the side length. So let me write this as half of the side length. So, so we can just cross multiply or we can also write this as 20 over S or the side length S is equals to 20 divided by tan of 60 degrees. You could use a calculator or even special triangles to find tan 60 degrees. Tan 60 degrees will be square root 3. So we can write this as 20 over square root 3. Now the area of triangle, let's call this OPQ, will be equal to half of base, which is S times height which is 10 right apothem in this case so it is half of s is 20 over square root 3 and the height is 10 so that becomes the area of one triangle so how about area of polygon so area of hexagon will be six of these triangles right will be 6 times. So let me write down 6 times half of 20 over square root 3 times 10. Okay? So that is how it is. It can be simplified. Uh, so you could write this as 2 goes 3 times and this goes square root 3 times. So that gives you area of hexagon as 200 square root 3 unit square. In this case it is centimeter, so we can write centimeter square, okay. So that becomes the area of hexagon, correct? So as you can see here, we found the area by multiplying half perimeter times the the apothem, right? I mean a. 
perimeter is 6 times 6 times the apothem half times 10 so we could use this formula directly to find the area of this particular polygon correct so i hope that is absolutely clear now let's take up the second question now here is question number two find area of a regular nonagon with radius of 10 centimeters so that means nine sides right now nine sides means there will be nine triangles let me sketch one here for the given polygon so all will be of equal side lengths I mean we have to find the side of a polygon we are given the radius in this case radius is 10 centimeters now if there are nine sides what is going to be the angle at the vertex of each triangle it is going to be 360 degrees divided by 9 which is 40 degrees correct so each angle here is 40 degrees to find the area we have to find height which is apothem and the side base correct so what we can do here is we can find half of the base using trigonometry correct now since this is isosceles triangle with the center we will get equal angles so we get all both these angles will be 20 degrees correct so both will be 20 degrees so from here we know apothem is going to be cosine right of 20 degrees so it will be 10 centimeters times cos of 20 degrees as far as the half of side length is concerned this length which you, we can write half of s will be equal to sine of 20 degrees times 10 correct so we know half of the base and we know the height and therefore we know area of the triangle so area of one triangle let me write down area of one triangle will be half base times height which in case will be half of the base is 10 sine of 20 degrees and height is 10 sine of cos of 20 degrees so that becomes area of one triangle and none of them we have nine triangles so so area of Nonagon will be 9 times 10 sine of 20 degrees times 10 cos of 20 degrees correct so that is how we are going to get the solution correct which is let's calculate so we'll do 900 times 900 times sine of 20 degrees times cos of 20 degrees equals to 289.25 so let's round it to 289 centimeters square correct so that is how you can find area of a nine sided regular polygon so I hope that helps so if you are given the radius in that case we can find apothem and the base half of the base basically using sine and cosine of half the angle at the vertex so I hope you understand and appreciate it feel free to write your comments and share your views if you like and subscribe to my videos that'd be great thanks for watching and all the best